I first started working with glass, I found a job through a staffing agency at Warner Cribble Stained Glass, and then I just fell in love with glass, and I worked there for three years, soaked it all in, and kind of went off, off on my own. That's fun, and now I like to do a lot of the recycled art. So when I fire bottles, I take them about 1,400 degrees, and to prevent them from rolling, I have to put two little shards of glass down, because if you just set the bottle on the shelf, it'll roll. So I put, I fill the kiln with bottles, heat it up to about 1400 degrees, and they can all, they all go flat in there in cheese boards. Fully functional recycled art cheese. I put a little cheese knife with it, heat on the bottom, fill it with a clear bottle, and then as because you can see through it, you can take the label or a picture or anything, and you can put it behind the bottle, so you can capture an image behind the bottle. And, that way you can have a little more decoration if people want it personalized. So that's another neat thing you can do. And I can do it in any color as you can see. You know, I have green, blue, brown. And the whole process of heating and cooling the bottle takes about uh, 14 to 16 hours. All right, when the bottles are done, um, I lift the lid up. It's pretty heavy. As you can see, the elements are in the lid. And I have a latch that holds the the lid open and you can see I can fit five bottles in this kiln and this other one that's actually running right now I can fit six in there, two in there and I have other kilns throughout here so I can do a lot of it at a time but like I said the process takes you know, 14 to 16 hours so you just need to be patient because if you heat it up too fast it'll crack or cool it down too fast it'll crack.